Hi, this is Amy with the National Weather Service office in San Angelo with an update to the weather briefing this morning. We'll start out with the forecast for today. Uh, for most of the area, we should see partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies, a pretty nice day with highs in the upper 60s. However, down in the southern areas along the Interstate 10 corridor, we still have about a 30% chance of light rain and light showers with a little more cloud cover and cooler temperatures. Now for night, for tonight, we are still looking for a very slight chance of rain down south along the I-10 corridor from Ozona to near Junction. Otherwise, the rest of the area will see partly cloudy skies with lows generally in the 40s. By Thursday, things start clearing out across the area with much warmer temperatures with highs reaching into the upper 60s to near 70. We do have another weak cold front coming through on Friday bringing temperatures back down into the mid-60s into the early part of the weekend. We're not expecting any rain with this front, though. However, we are watching in the extended forecast for a much stronger cold front that will be coming down into the area Tuesday night, bringing much colder temperatures by Wednesday and Thursday. The first widespread freeze of the area may occur on Wednesday night. Now, just as a review, these are a few of the freeze and frost products that we issue during the fall growing season end. Uh, we typically issue frost advisories when temperatures fall down to near freezing and we could see frost forming on sensitive plants. A freeze watch is issued when we have pretty high confidence that temperatures will fall to freezing or below freezing in the next 24 to 48 hours and then a freeze warning when we're expecting freezing or below freezing temperatures likely within the next 12 to 24 hours. It's still a little bit early out with this next system. Our confidence is not as high right now but something to watch as we get closer uh, into the weekend and into the early part of next week, we should have a better idea of the forecast. But at this point, uh, be on the lookout for our first possible widespread freeze coming maybe on Wednesday night. Stay tuned for later updates from the National Weather Service.